Decision making is a simple process that occur in our life continuously which involve a simple decision over what to eat for dinner or other significant like whether to buy a new house. Did you decide it yourself or involve your family and friends in the decision making? Normative model of decision making is a leadership model that helps leaders decide to which degree their team members should participate in the decision making process. It is normative because it recommends that leaders adopt a certain style based on prescription of model. It is developed by Victor Vroom with the collaboration of Philip Yatten and Arthur J. Iago, or referred as Vroom Yatten Jago model. This model is evaluated with five different management strategies with varying degrees of participation from leaders and team members. Let's assume that you are the leader with your friends as the team members and watching movie is the project for tomorrow. The decision begins with the most autocratic which decision solely made by the leader to the most democratic which decision made by the team. First strategy is referred as autocratic type 1 or A1. In this decision, leaders solve the problem along using information that is readily available to him or her. Since you are the leader, you decide which movie to watch with your friends tomorrow. Autocratic type 2 or A2 is a situation where the leader obtains additional information from team members, then make a decision alone on which team members may or may not be informed. You ask your friend what gender they prefer or a new release movie they recommend, then you make the decision. Next is consultative type 1 or C1. Leader shares problem with group members individually and asks information and evaluation. Team members do not meet collectively and leader still makes the decision alone. You consult with your friends individually for the problem arise either personal messaging or face-to-face -face regarding on how to book the ticket or what seat is the best in the theatre. Then you make the final decision. Consultative type 2 or C2 is the leader shares the problem with team members collectively. However, the decision is still decided by the leader alone. You may inform your problem in a group WhatsApp or when you are meeting together for the opinion and possible solution, which give several same or unique alternatives. Then you decide the alternative. Last strategy or the most democratic strategy is group type 2 or G2, where leaders meet with group to discuss situation. Leader focus and direct decision but doesn't impose will. All members will decide the final decision. You and your members will decide to meet and discuss the project to reach the final decision together on what movie to watch, what time to meet, or what seat is the best. And all members will reach only one conclusion. In conclusion, normative decision theory is a flexible with leaders since they have many choice for decision style. It is also simple and methodological approach for decision-making process. We can see that research shows that it works in various settings. However, it may be too systematic since it cannot consider other variables in decision-making because situations can be more complicated such as leadership characteristic, change in situation and emotion. In this model, only leaders initiate decision making since only G2 involve all members in discussion. Also, it might not work in large groups.